a sweet aroma. Ah, uh, I can see your two with your back. Oh yes. Oh, okay. um, is, is the food ready yet? Um, just give me ten minutes. Ten minutes. I'm so famished, I can't wait. <laughs> no, don't worry, it's a size of patient. Oh, you keep your uncle coming. Hmm? Mm. Mommy is really cooking something nice. Hmm? Mommy is preparing such a delicious meal. Hmm? Are you hungry? You're not? You don't look happy. for you. Come on, food is ready. Okay, let's go. Invite me here instead of your house. You know I'm not supposed to be seen in places like this. Oh, pardon me, holy one. I actually forgot you're the pastor's wife, and you shouldn't be seen around places like this with a sinner like me. Oh, please cut that. So, how are the children? Um, Chizaba told me you gave her some money the other day. Thank you so much. It's nothing. So, what is it this time? Well, I actually invited you here. 
because I want us to have a very important conversation and I wouldn't want anybody to disturb us. Mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't bore you with so much words because I can see you're not comfortable here. So I'd rather go straight to the point. Okay. I would like to have the children back. Which children? Come on, don't feign ignorance, Rita. I'm talking about our children, my children. I'm going to give you time to sort it out with your husband and we'll see you soon. Light headache. So, should I get some drugs for you? Oh, no. Okay. Mommy, our teacher taught us a new song. Really? That's nice. I hope you learned it well. Mommy, I want to teach you. Not today. Mommy is tired, okay? No, Mommy, I want to teach you. Oh, yeah, I said no, not today. discussed with your husband. Ah. Are you dumb? Answer me. You think I'm joking, right? Now listen, Rita. Don't get me angry. Don't get me angry. Discuss with your husband. Sense. What is he talking about? He said the soup I prepared for him the other day that he forgot to put it in the fridge. So he got soured. That's what he said. Oh, Harrison, Harrison. You are a character. Only please prepare another soup for him. Please, I'm begging you. Don't do this to me, please. Rita, you're just trying to make things much more difficult for yourself. You should know me by now that I don't ever start what I don't intend to finish. I'm a perfectionist and I want a peaceful settlement. And 
That's why I've given you the grace to handle it your own way. But if you cannot do it, well, I just might have to approach it my own way, which may not favor you or your husband. Talk to your husband. Talk to him. I'm running out of patience. Excuse me. Anything bothering you? Um, no, nothing is bothering me. It's just that I was um kind of meditating, you know. I just drifted up. It's okay. I got a call this morning from the church national headquarters mm. concerning an emergency for the seminar for all the pastors' wives all over the nation. Uh -huh. The seminar begins at 12 p.m out of Vandakaya in Bienno State. Okay, so, so what do we do? Uh, you have to leave first thing tomorrow morning so you get on time. All right, so um, it means I should uh, start preparing my things. Yeah, get your things together to go. Isaiah 45 is one. Thus said the Lord to his anointed, to Cyrus. Oh, uh, hold it there. Substitute that name, which is of our, because Cyrus is no longer living. God is talking directly to you. Okay. Thus said the Lord to his anointed, to Chizoba, whose right hand I have held, to subdue nations before him. And I will lose the loins of king to open before him two lift gates, and the gates shall not be shut. Amen. I will go before thee. I make the crooked place straight. I will break in pieces the gate of brass and cut in sunder the bars of iron. Amen. Oh, 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 oh,
She's over. Okay. The case upstairs. I'll continue where we start. Okay. Um. Opina, your wife is a key player in the issue we're about to discuss, so I expect her to be here. My wife? Yes, your wife, Rita. Uh, she is supposed to have told you. My wife is not in town. They traveled this morning to Burnwood State for a conference that would last for about four days. But what is it exactly you want to discuss that my wife has with presents? Oh, mm, nothing so serious. Well, since uh, it's okay, you can spell it out uh, after all. I mean, elder brother, if she has done anything wrong to you, I should be the one to know first. Well, your wife has not offended me in any way. Never has she offended anybody that I know. But I can see you're very anxious to know. Well, what I'm about to say now might sound so strange, so weird and so bizarre, but it is the truth. She's over. Dubem and Onyine are my children. Oh, well, it's okay. I am not disputing that fact. After all, you are the only brother that I have, so my children are your children. Obina, you don't seem to get my point. You see, I am their father, their biological father. You said what? How do you say? Are you under the influence of a call or something? No, oh, stop it, Obina. Do I look like I'm drunk to you? Harrison, get out of my house. Get out of my house, Harrison! Well, you might not believe me now. But when the time comes, you will. Harrison, I'm enough. Get out of my house. Get out of my house! Obina, I will leave. But be rest assured that I'll be coming back to pick up my children. Get out of my house! What's wrong with you? Who am I seeing? Wonder shall never end. Eh? Dr. Harrison! Mm, uncle. So you can still remember your people? You can still come to the village? Dr. Harrison, imagine five years your mother and your father died. Neither you nor your brother Obina have set this food in this, in, in this village. A place of your, of your bath. A place of your origin. It is very sad. It is disheartening. It is unbelievable that you can just forget your people like this. Oh. It's, it's wrong. Oh, Uncle, you, you, you got it all wrong. There's no way I can forget my kingsmen just like that. You know, my profession as a medical doctor is time consuming. It doesn't even allow me time to take care of my own self. Besides, everybody knows the series of problems I've been going through over the past one year. But Uncle, now that I'm back, I'll make up for everything. Really? Yes, Uncle. <laughs> My coming back to this village will put a smile on everybody's face. 
Odowunwa. Uncle Alfonso. You are highly welcome. You are highly welcome. Um, I'm actually. I had all that happen to you, even how your wife left and everything. But you know, I was expecting you to call me. Assuming you call me, you no, know, we would have sat down and, you know, plan on how to bring her back. You know what I can do. Uncle, Uncle, all that is in the past now. You know, certain things must happen to a man before he can be qualified to be called a real man. That's, you are speaking, you are a typical man, my son. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Meanwhile, uh, what of your your brother been and the family? How are they doing? Uh, he is the main reason why I'm here right now. Your reason? Oh, Binna. I hope there's no problem. No, 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 Uncle, there's no problem. There's no problem. There, there's no problem. <laughs> my evil dog. In that case, let's uh, go to the backyard and talk. Huh? Your, my wife went uh, out to pick the kids. Let's go and do it. Oh, <laughs> my dog! Uncle, you're still looking strong. You've got to enjoy my dog. I've got to be here. Hi! Hey! Hi! Dr. Harris, to be honest with you, what you've just told me is a very critical and sensitive issue and should be handled with every carefulness. Hey! It is also very, very slanderous. No ear is supposed to hear this. No other person. My God. Hey! As the younger brother to your late father, I... I will do everything at my disposal to maintain the reputation of this family. Yes. To make sure that no ear hears this. I'll make sure I'll be in Lagos in two days' time, unfailingly. But before then, I'll call your brother, Albin. I'll call him. Uncle, you can go about it however you want. All I know is that those children are mine and nobody or anything can stop me from having them back. I've had you! I've, I've, I've had you! All I am telling you, go down! Take everything easy. Nobody should hear this. After I will come, when I come, I'll settle everything. It's not hey! Okay. It's okay. <sighs> I'll, 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 I'll. Um, Pastor, the test we carried out uh, has it that you have a genital deformity. And it has to do with your testes. Uh, as a result, you may never be able to pregnant any woman except there is a miracle no, you and i know there is nothing god cannot do because the faith is there it's not the end of the world
embarrass him. You really have to take it easy with your elder brother, Obinna. After all, if you really want to face the truth, you have no legal claim over those children. Even traditionally. Uncle, I know. But that doesn't change the fact that the children are mine. Look, moreover, going by Obinna's nature and his position in the church, he would not want to fight so hard. Uncle, I want my children back. And I need your full support to make this happen. Uh, for my support, we have my support. You will have my support. Uh, but uh, you should not forget your promise. <laughs> you remember? Uncle, I will not forget. Uh, for my, you have my support. The Lord is using you to do great works. Keep it up. Thank you, Pastor. It's the Lord's doing. And I return all the glory to Almighty God. Amen. I, I just want to inform you that uh, I won't be ministry in tomorrow's midweek service. I have an all family discussion with my uncle who is coming in from the village tomorrow. So I want you to take charge of the flocks. I'm honored, so thank you. Thank you. It's okay. Well, I'll, I'll see you the day after tomorrow when I come back. Obina, how is it? I left everything I was doing in this village for this sensitive matter. Because I don't want it to tear you people apart. No. I know it's a very complicated and difficult issue to settle. But at the same time, I believe that with love and wisdom, we shall overcome. Uncle, I don't mean to cut you short, but I did not come here to have a dialogue with anybody. I'm just here to have my children back. That's all. So please, round up with whatever you're saying because I want to go. Harrison, what is wrong with you? Don't you have respect for elders anymore? Ever since you came in here, you've been making unpalatable utterance. Do you think I'll be cowed by such statements? Obina, you don't need words from anybody to make you a coward. You're already a coward by nature. Uncle, did, did, did you hear him? Did you hear Harrison? I will not tolerate such insult from him, not in my own house. Harrison, calm down. Calm down. So you, you are still with this, your whole temperedness. Huh? Please, let us not aggravate the situation. Huh? Let us wait till Rita comes back and she's coming back from Benue. Uh, uh, Obina said that she's coming back today. Why not we wait for, for her? We all know that it's the only woman that knows the, 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 the father of her children. So why not we wait? You see, Uncle, with all due respect, I wish to discontinue this discussion forthwith. I want her to leave my house now. Obina, leaving your house is not going to solve the problem. I want my children back and I will stop at nothing on having them back. Harrison, get out of my house. Uncle? Get out of my house! You're getting on my necks! Uncle, let us go. I should let go because... Obina. I'll be back. Get out of my house, you're getting on my necks. I'll be back on another dimension. Get out of my house. Oh! My wife, you're back. Uncle, let's go.
time for crying. I want to hear epic, disgusting details of how Harrison, my brother, suddenly became the father of the children that have fallen for so many years. Honestly, I'm sorry. I want you to forgive me. Oh, you stop pleading and answer my question. Um, Harrison and I met in my friend's party. During our days in the university, we were attracted to each other and we kept each other company all through the night. But after the party, we never saw each other again. Until five years later, when you took me to his office and introduced him to me as your younger brother. And the eyes work? Oh, oh, fine. Not not bad at all. Oh, I met uh, Rita, my fiance. And Rita met my younger brother, Harrison. He's also a graduate investor of Ibadan. Wait, wait a minute. Are you also a product of the UI? Yes. Um, I read English. Wait, 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 wait. Um, do you know, uh, one Lisa is it way. I mean the current minister of the states for women affairs. Yes. I knew it. I know I've seen that face somewhere. You were the guy that did the toast in her party. Yes, right? yes, yes. Oh god, I knew it. <laughs> don't, don't tell me you guys know each other. Yes, yes. Oh. Yes, we do. Oh, it's such a small world. <laughs> You know, I think we should all just go out and get <laughs> But after that day, we continued with the relationship, but it, it was on a platonic level. No strings attached. <laughs> but two years into our marriage, your mother's pressure for grandchildren became so severe and unbearable. Good day, Mama. Welcome. My birthday's for you. What is that? There's bread and um, wrapper. For you. I am not hungry. Neither am I naked. I've told you before, I don't need anything from you. All I need is a grandchild. Mama, I don't like the way you sound. Children are gifts from God. And they only come when it pleases Him. Shut up, old man. What do you know? Both of you have married for over four years. You are telling me about God's time. Barrenness is not in our lineage. If your wife cannot give me a grandchild, marry another wife. Yes. Marry another wife. I want to go to Amugo Obina. I to Amijo Amugo. if I'm doubting God's words, but your mother's pressure for a child is beginning to get on me. It's getting out of hand. I'm just suggesting that we go for a medical checkup so that we can be sure that there's nothing wrong with us medically while we continue to wait on the Lord. Honey, you, you surprised me. Where is your faith? The Bible tells us in Psalm 1 verse 3, He that obeys the laws of the Lord shall build like a tree planted by the rivers of waters, which bring forth his 
fruit in due season. The scripture also says that if we of God towards us, they are good and not evil. Honey, I know all that. I do. But like I said earlier on, it's not as if I'm doubting God's word. Come on, honey, going for a test will not change our faith in any way, will it? At least, it's just for us to be very sure. Let's just fulfill our righteousness. Okay. If that's going to make you happy, I will do it. Meanwhile, you know I'm built to travel to Abidjan tomorrow for a two-month pastoral training. So the fairs can wait till I come back. No, honey. No. Um, I suggest we, we go to your brother's hospital and do it before you leave. Well, that, that is not a bad idea. It's okay. I hope you're happy now. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very it's okay. much. It's okay. <sighs> Because of the pregnancy, Harrison prepared a forged test result showing that you're, you're fatal. Your blood samples are in the lab right now. Uh, the results should be ready in some hours. So, um, when do I come back for the result then? Um, in a couple of hours precisely. Uh, so when do I take this off? You can take it off whenever it stops bleeding. Um, so let me just see him off and come back for the result. That will be okay by me. Alright, thank you very much, Arthur. Alright, go ahead. Have a safe drive. Alright. Okay. All right. The result of the test shows there's nothing wrong with you. The only problem is with your husband. But what is wrong with him? Well, uh, the test result shows that your husband has problems with his testicles, which makes him sterile. Well, to put it more clearly, um, he may never be able to impregnate a woman. Oh, God. I don't understand. Can't it be corrected? You see, Medically, it's almost impossible. Because the problem is actually from birth, which makes it much more difficult and complicated. God, what is this? It's alright. You need to go home and have some rest. Okay? Don't worry, I'll, I'll take you home. as if I'm in good terms with my mother. My mother didn't even attend my traditional marriage or my white wedding because she opposed me getting married to a non-Catholic. And right now, I am facing the worst from my mother-in-law over childlessness. And to cap all of it, my husband cannot get me pregnant. I was saying, tell me, what am I supposed to do in a situation like this? What? Eh? What am I going to do? Hi. I've 
told you to. Stop bothering yourself with this. Everything is going to be alright. Okay? Don't worry, everything will be fine. All you need is time to relax. You know, and calm down. Look, if you're so tired, you can even go to my bedroom and sleep. But there's no point rushing back home because your husband is, is not even in town. You need to have some rest. I can take you back to your house later in the evening. Relax. I don't know what to do. Don't worry. I don't, don't know what to do. Don't worry. Don't everything, know. everything will be fine. Okay? So it doesn't mean I won't have a child of my own. Don't worry about it. How do I explain all of this? Don't The result of the test is positive. You are pregnant. Harrison, my tummy is growing bigger by the day. I'm no more comfortable with this whole thing. My, my conscience is breaking me badly. And my husband will soon be back in less than two months. I don't know if I can be able to face him. I can't stand him. I've told you to stop disturbing yourself with such thoughts. I've changed his lab result. And moreover, you told me he slept with you the night before he traveled. Look, that was also about the same time you conceived, right? Don't worry. He will have no reason to doubt the paternity of the, of the baby. Ah. Don't worry, okay? That was the result I showed you. <laughs> after... After then... My secret... Affair with him continued until we had all the children. Honestly, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> mommy, mommy. Mommy, I miss you. I missed you, darling. I missed you all. I missed you. Mm, your face is red and they'll be crying. What's happening? Daddy, is everything all right? To supervise a piece of land that the church is planning to build a school on. Okay. So come with me.
she's about to the market to get me a few things for dinner since 12 o'clock. But she's not yet back and it's 4 o'clock now. Uh, she mustn't come back. Maybe she stopped about to see a friend or something. You shouldn't bother. Oh, honestly, I am very, very worried. I am. Because she has never done a thing like this before. Is anything the matter? Uh, I can't say for now, but this policeman came to the church demanding he sees Pastor Dina at once. My husband? Yes. Yeah, good day, officer. Any problem? Sir, the former reporter was about the dead body of a young girl disposed near his farmland. I went there this afternoon and discovered on her this that which bears your church address. Honey, that's just a bus diary. Honey, that's just a bus diary. That's just a bus diary. in the Lord. Remember, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but God deliver him from them all. Thank you, Elder Dockers. The Lord does stand in his own way. And no one knows his mind has to instruct him on what to do. He gives and it takes. But the Bible tells us this. In every situation, we should thank Him. As my senior pastor have just said, despite all odds, we need to praise and embrace the Lord of God. Because our God is beyond human comprehension. Shall we rise on our feet? In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you and bless your holy name because you are good and you are God. Father, we thank you for the past, we thank you for the present, and we thank you for the future to come. Father, we worship you because you still. Temperature was going higher and higher, so she said to take her to the hospital so waiting for you. Which hospital? St. Pat's Hospital. Now you take care of the home. Come on, open the gate. What dress are you going with me?
is wrong with this car? I don't know. Let me come down and check. Okay. Daddy, you're hurting me. Shut up, Shut up. Shut up. Daddy. Shut up, Shut up. Shut up. Have you forgotten what the Bible says? He that keepeth Israel shall neither sleep nor slumber. Amen. And the Lord made it clear that his eyes is upon our lives. Yes, so Dubim is under the control of the Almighty. Amen. I strongly believe that nothing will happen to you. Nothing will happen to you. Meanwhile, first thing tomorrow morning, I'll rush to the police station to see how far they have gone on their such. Okay. So please take heart and take this easy, okay? Yes. God is under control. Yes. I, I want to thank you, Pastor Desmond, for your encouragement and your motivation. My God will reward you abundantly in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. Thank you, Pastor. I will take my leave now. Thank you. Put yourself together. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Ani, where, where, where is he?
Okay, let's see. I think in my, oh, okay, my key. You, okay, you left your key. Okay. Uh, All right. All right. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. Have a wonderful time. It's okay. betrayed my love. I have betrayed my husband. I have sinned against God. I have also sinned against my children. I cannot live with the shame. I have to go away to a place where no one will see me again. I'm going in search of death because that is all I deserve. Oh, mommy, are you going out? So where are you going to? Mm. Well, mommy is traveling. Traveling? Yeah. To where? But it's time for money devotion. Yes, that. Um, you do that with your father. I'll join you people later. But I've searched for him everywhere. He's nowhere to be found. Really? Mm-hmm. Well, Daddy will soon be back. Huh? Oh, Mommy, wait. Is Daddy aware you're traveling? Because I don't understand. Is that where you're going out? Yes, he is. As a matter of fact, let me just put this in the car. Yeah? And I'll join you people. Too. No, Mommy, I want to go with you. Oh, you can go with me, yeah? Thank you. Please, Mama. Don't worry, come. Let's just put this in Come on, Annie. Let's put this in the car.
as to what is going on. Eh? Your daughter Chizoba came to my house with tears crying that their mother, your wife, just left them and that you were nowhere to be found. I've called you several, but to no avail. As to what is going on? You mean my wife left the house? Yes. So this is not a dream after all. You need to put yourself together, okay? The God we serve is bigger than all problems. Put yourself together. What about my children? They are home at the moment. Oh. Yes, I am. So what can I do for you? Well, I'm from the Magistrates Court. Um, you have been summoned to appear before the court on the 17th of this month over a dispute between you and one Dr. Harrison of Um, for like how many days now? Okay, return back to the kitchen. Are you sure? Take it back to the kitchen. I'm stretching this whole thing, you know. I won't go to court. I mean, there is no need. I don't have a case. The children are not mine. I can't stand for that humiliation. No. So what do you intend doing? Uh, well, I, I'm giving in. I'm going to tell the children the truth. Meaning? I have no choice. Take a look at this. My dear husband, I know I am not worthy to address myself as your wife, but please permit me to ask for your forgiveness. What I did was an abomination. 
before God and man. Therefore, I deserve no pardon. I had to leave you because I was, I was clothed with shame. I couldn't face the children, let alone the church members. I am gone, never to come back. My prayer is that God will give you the strength to bear the pains I inflicted on you. Jesus wept. Goodbye. Your wife, Rita. Pastor, how do you get this? I saw it in my mailbox this morning. So you can see that I don't have a kiss. Children, hurry up, let's go. To go home, I want to go home. Come on, my dear. This is your home. I'm your father. I want to go home. I want to go back home. Onye, this is your home, and I'm your real father. Okay? It's a lie. It's a lie. You are my uncle and not my father. No. Pastor Obina is your uncle. I'm your father. Okay? Eat your food. Dubem, eat. Chizoba. Chizoba, you're not even eating. Come on, eat your food. We're not hungry. Listen, children, you, you, you don't have to starve yourselves. Chizoba, look, you have to make them understand that this is their home. Okay? 
I'm your father and I will do everything within my reach to make you happy. All right, if you don't like the food, just tell me what you would like to eat and I will go and get it right away. You don't have to starve, okay? series of telephone calls, questions from all angles in respect of the unpleasant development in the family of our daddy in the Lord. Those questions were not answered because I had no correct answers for them. To God be the glory that our daddy in the Lord is here today to give us the first hand information on this particular subject. So I urge you, brethren, to come down and listen to him. He will be here in the church. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Are you tired of weary of your problems? Oh, are you trying to solve them by yourself? Oh, get all the shelter dreams of you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want to thank you all for your steadfastness and your faith in God. Without wasting much of your time, I want to confirm and then finally put to rest what a lot of you may have regarded as rumors. Shizoba, Onyinye, and Dube, whom you all may have regarded as my children, They are truly not mine. Jesus. Jesus! The devil used my wife to destabilize as an instrument to destabilize and destroy my happiness. But I thank God that the devil failed. So my fellow brethren, 
My strength does not lie in the hands of man, but it lies in the hands of God Almighty. The Bible tells us that many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord deliver him from them all. There is no triumph without trials. I want to thank you all for your encouragement, for your support, and for your steadfastness. God bless you. Thank you. Excuse me, sir. You mean you see letter into your house? Why not? In fact, I called her, but her phone was switched off. I called her parents. They said she did not come home. I'm only doing this because of what the Bible says. After all the pains and trauma she has caused you, you want to see what comes back into your life? Ah, this month, you won't understand. I know that what she did was unpardonable in the eyes of men. But my decision is based on divine direction. And then my personal happiness. This month, my life is incomplete with that return. And that's why I'm praying to God for her to come back home. And I'm sure that God will touch her heart wherever she is. He was just screaming, my heart, my heart. All of a sudden, he fell and stopped moving his body. Daddy Uncle Harrison is dead. Jesus. Dead? I 
So where is he now? He's in his house. Are you sure? Uh -huh. He was just screaming and he fell down. She's a man. Look after the house and your brothers and sisters. This will be school. Come in. Yeah, yeah, good day, Pastor Des. And how are you? Good day, sir. Yeah, good day, gentlemen. Um, Pastor, this young man is from General Hospital, Abu. He said he has a message for you. I said, I'm going to make yourself comfortable. I shouldn't go upstairs. So, gentlemen, what is the message all about? Pastor, it's about a woman who was involved in an accident along Abo Benin Expressway two weeks ago. The car she was driving ran into a tanker that was carrying kerosene and there was a fire at bust. Fortunately for her, she was rescued by people at the scene. Ever since then, sir, she has been in coma. This morning, she came out of coma and managed to give me your name and the address of your church before she drifted back to coma. So how are you, my madam? Yeah, fine. Mm. What happened? Uh, I had an accident. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You never know sorry. what you've got till you lose it. Oh. You never know where to go when you want to. You never know 
Love for us. 